Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my video blog series. I'm your host Nick Renard and today we're going to be talking about ad scheduling within Google AdWords. And Normally I have a presentation set up for this but we're actually going to be doing a lot of uh, hands-on stuff within AdWords and I'm going to be showing you um, a cool trick uh, to kind of get around to some of the limitations that there are within the AdWords editor. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the reasons that we use ad scheduling to begin with, uh, a lot of people have uh, very obvious reasons about, uh, you know, maybe they only, you know, maybe they only answer their phones from nine to five, so they want to have their ads show from nine to five. That's a pretty basic example. Um, you know, maybe they don't want to show on the weekends, or maybe they know that. Mondays are really busy for them and Fridays are not so busy. Uh, so we, what we can do is we can set up ad scheduling within AdWords to bid more and less aggressively on those different days and hours based on uh, either data or knowledge that we have about uh, how their, you know, how, how their business is uh, driven. Um, so one of the things obviously there are things that maybe like the the calls one is pretty obvious about um you know they only answer the calls 9 to 5 but uh i generally like to look at real data to know whether or not hours are performing better or worse than others um so one of the things that uh, i've gone over in my blogs before is uh the dimensions tab here uh there's a couple of reports in the dimensions tab uh notably the if you click on this drop down box here under view and go to time. There's one called day of the week, which is the one I have up here. Uh, this one's great because you can set whatever date range you want and you can see how your ads are performing throughout the day of the week. So it'll tell you on Monday you got this many clicks, this many conversions, uh, you know, Friday, same thing. And what you can do is if you look at these reports, let's say you've, you've had your AdWords campaigns running for let's say, I don't know, eight months now. I did uh, The minimum amount of time I want to look at these campaigns is generally about two or three months. So let's say you have eight months worth of data. Look back at the, the eight months and see if you can notice any patterns. Usually they're pretty obvious. Like you'll notice things like maybe weekends are really bad or really good. Uh, a lot of the times I notice patterns where like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are really, uh, really strong and then it starts to fade out towards the end of the week because people tend to like to convert on Mondays but not Fridays because you know, for whatever reason. It's going to be different based on every industry. Uh, so we could look for patterns in here, and um, if we did notice something obvious like sa uh, Saturday and Sunday were bad, we could just reduce bids on Saturday and Sunday and try to get a cheaper cost per click. Uh, we could also do the same thing with the hour of the day, because it's not just the days that we, we want to go a little more granular and let's say Monday performs really well well let's drill down on Monday which is why we have the hour of the day report here uh, and this one's a lot bigger obviously instead of broken up into seven days it's broken up into 24 hours but it's it's the same thing where you can see at 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., all the way down, you know, to the end of the day, uh, how each hour is performing. And what we look for in these reports is blocks of time where your conversion rates or whatever stat you're using to determine the success of your campaign, uh, generally cost per conversion, but, you know, obviously everybody has their own metrics. Uh, what we're looking for is blocks of time where it's converting really well, where the, the performance is good. Uh, and on the inverse side of things, it's also important of where it's not doing so good. So if we were to notice a pattern like, wow, 2 a.m. to 7 a.m. performs insanely well for us, but then as soon as the day starts around 7 a.m., <clears throat> things start to taper off. Uh, what we can do is we can set up ad scheduling where within those blocks of time, we can add bid modifiers to bid more aggressively or less aggressively based on the uh, the patterns of conversion data that we've been seeing over the past, you know, whatever amount of time, two months, four months, eight months, four years, whatever. Uh, so what I like to do is I look at these reports. Uh, for my clients, I look at these reports every probably every month or two. I don't necessarily make changes every month or two, but I keep an eye on them at least every month or two. And um, if, if I start to notice a drastic pattern that's been continuing month over month over month, uh, I'll go into their uh, their ad scheduling and add bid modifiers based on the on the days that are performing bad or good or the hours that are performing bad or good. So dimension, dimensional reporting is a good way to prove uh, 
that, you know, if someone's asking why did you set it up like this, it's a good way to show somebody, um, maybe some, you know, your boss or someone else who's, you know, asking you for reports or something like that about, um, you know, why you made those changes. So anyways, uh, what I want to get into here is how to set up the ad scheduling. Uh, so let's say I'm, I'm going to use one of these campaigns. Uh, these are one of our old pause campaigns that we have. Uh, I'm just going to pick a random one. Uh, if we go into settings, we clicked on the campaign here. We go into settings, and you see there's a tab here called ad schedule. And you'll see that the default is just to show Monday all day, Tuesday all day, Wednesday. It's just showing all day, all days of the week. And that's when you set up an AdWords campaign, that's what it's going to do. Is it's just going to show you at all times during the day uh, until you tell it to do otherwise. If we want to change it, we press this uh, this big red plus red ad or uh, <laughs> this big red plus ad schedule button here, and you'll see that it uh, breaks it down and allows you. It gives you all these drop down boxes to get more custom tailored. And I actually want to use an example here uh, to show you just how complicated this can get. Because it looks simple here being like, oh, Monday from you know 12 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's great. And then you know you add your bid modifier. It, it actually gets pretty complicated when you start trying to break it up into blocks of time. Um, so we'll go ahead and just go with this example, example and you'll see what I mean. Um, let's pretend that from 3 a.m. to 8 a.m., the performance of your campaigns is great. Uh, the cost per conversion is great, um, and you want to increase bids during those hours. But then you notice at 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., so kind of during the day, it tapers off, and the clicks get too expensive, the cost per conversion kind of drops off. And so what you want to do during those hours is you want to back off on your bids a little bit, aim for a, a cheaper cost per click, a cheaper ad position, try to pick up you know, ad slots whenever other people's budgets are maxing out. Um, it's a good strategy to use. Uh, so we want to back off between the hours of 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then after 3 p.m., the pattern kind of goes back to how it was in the morning where, uh, you know, things are good again. So the hours between 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. are good again. So we want to increase our bids. And then anything outside those hours from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m., just kind of in the middle of the night, you don't really notice any patterns. So we're just not going to, you know, we're not going to add any modifiers there. So that's the example I'm going to use. And uh, we're going to go ahead and roll with it. And I'll show you how I would set that up. Um, so what we would have to do is we would have to clear out all these and we would have to do them one by one. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with Monday. Uh, so we're going to have to break this up into chunks of time. Keep in mind, if I, uh, this, one of the reasons we have to break this up so much is if I only add Monday to, from like 12 a.m. to 4 p.m., and this is my only ad scheduling, it is only going to show you during this time period. So even if all you wanted to do was add a modifier for just this time, you would still have to add the rest of your days to tell the system that yes, you still want to be bidding on those days, and then you can make your bid adjustment on Monday. But what we're going to do is, we, we let's, let's say we want to make these bid adjustments on all days. So we're going to start with Monday here. And from uh, 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. because remember the the good hours don't start until 3 a.m. so 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. we want that to be a block uh, from 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. are good so we want that to be another block do, 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 do. 8 a.m. Uh, and then from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. it's bad and then from 3 p.m to 10 p.m. it's good again and then from 10 p.m. for the rest of the day because remember if we don't include this 10 p.m. to midnight it's actually just going to exclude 10 p.m. to midnight entirely so this would oops let me set that to Monday this would just be Monday right there and I'll show you what it looks like when I save it here uh, you can see that now it allows you to it shows you Monday you know midnight to 3 a.m. 3 a.m. to 8 a.m., 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., 3 a.m. to 10 p.m., and 10 p.m. to midnight. So then what we can do is now that we have these blocks of time broken out here, if this is the this is the good hour here, the, um, oops, 25, we'll increase our bids by 25% because this block of time was good. 
uh, it was bad here so I'm just using arbitrary numbers here for the increases and decreases so let's say like decrease by 40 percent that might be a lot but that's all right uh, and then here it kind of picks back up again and this is what it would look like so you can see here that from 10 p.m. at the end of the day all the way up until 3 a.m. nothing's happening we're not changing our bids at all we're just letting it run we didn't notice any patterns then in the early morning uh, it does really well so we increase our it's gonna automatically add a 25 percent uh, modifier to our bids then during the day 8 a.m. to 3 p.m minus 40 percent it'll decrease our bids pretty substantially uh, 40 percent is a lot uh, and then toward, towards the evening it'll increase our bids again uh, and you can actually see it broken out on the they have like a little visual for it up here so you can see that how it's showing throughout the day uh, what we would have to do with this is <laughs> keep in mind that this is only showing Monday so by setting it up like this, we're actually excluding Tuesday through Sunday and only showing on Monday. So we'd have to set that up for all days here. And unfortunately, and I know that that's the first question that pops into your mind is, can't we just copy paste? No, you can't. So we would have to, and I'm not going to go through all of these with you, but uh, you would have to do this for Tuesday, 12 a.m. to 3 a.m., 3 a.m. to 8 a.m., 8 a.m. to, what was it, 3 p.m., and then 3 p.m., 10 p.m., and 10 p.m. to midnight. You have to do that for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, and sometimes even people will notice that like Tuesday has a different, uh, different set of hours that perform better or worse than Friday. And so you, you have to like set it up differently for that one. And like I said, you cannot copy and paste it. It's one of the stupidest things uh, about the AdWords and AdWords editors. You cannot copy and paste ad, ad scheduling. Um, but I'm gonna show you a trick on how, um, so you can get around this. Let's say we went ahead and did all of this. We set this up for all of our days of the week. And you can see once you had like seven of these, you would have like a, you know, several pages of bid modifiers that you would have to add here you know increasing during certain hours um, so once you set it all up for one campaign there actually is a way to copy and paste it to other campaigns so that's nice so once we set it up in this one campaign if we want to apply that across the rest of our campaigns because uh, you know the performance is consistent across you know multiple campaigns which is fairly typical uh, if you're advertising for the same products but maybe just different keywords and or you know maybe one's a remarketing campaign and so you know the the performance is still the same hourly um, and you notice the same patterns but they're just different campaigns yeah you get it um, so what we're gonna do is go into the AdWords editor and what we can do is take that campaign that we have here this uh, sweet water remarketing whatever old campaign and um, if we right click, or actually first we would have to get our recent changes because we just added the, um, we just added all of that ad scheduling in there. So it would download all of these changes here and then we'd have to right click this and click copy. It's a really weird way of going about this, but click copy shell. And what that does is it copies the, uh, the, the, the shell of this campaign and what you can do is under ad schedule here if, if you click on another campaign like let's say this remarketing campaign we wanted to copy and paste it over to we uh, on the campaign tab here there's a little thing that says ad schedule just click paste there and it'll actually paste the ad scheduling um, from this shell that you copied into this campaign here so you click that paste button and post your changes and it'll allow you to take all of the work that you did uh, adding these modifiers across all these campaigns and copy it across multiple campaigns. Now, sometimes I work with uh, clients who, you know, maybe they'll have like 40 or 50 different campaigns for different products and services, you know, maybe um, different styles of something that they sell. Uh, but the, the ad scheduling, I, wa I want to be all the same. So if I were to do this all manually and try to add all of these hours in, I mean, it would take me a full day just to do ad scheduling for one of my clients but with the um, with a little trick where I can copy and paste that shell between multiple campaigns 
I could actually just set that up for one of my campaigns and then copy or and, and then copy that shell and paste the ad scheduling into those other 40 or 50 campaigns and you know save hours and hours of time so again um, it is only because uh, AdWords is you know kind of limited but I, I, I know they're coming out with a new version of AdWords editor so maybe they'll fix it in that who knows um, but for now this is the the only way I know of uh, of getting around that so anyways that's a little bit on ad scheduling um, how to set it up the uh, the dimensional reporting I have I have several blogs going over a lot of the details of dimensional reporting and kind of the the ins and outs and what to look for in those so check those out uh, and then yeah hopefully you can put the uh, the copy and paste trick to use so that you can save uh, save some time like I have with that trick so anyways thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next blog video happy advertising